All right, good morning. I'm out here with Phantom, my Fat 25 ammo can Bluetooth speaker with twin NVX 440 watt bridged amplifiers for each channel. Stereo, All right? Now, I've got a question for you. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. What I want to do is get some equalization on the subs. And what I did is I installed this seven band Rockville EQ and it goes down to 50 hertz. And I want a little bit more bottom end control. And if you look at this, it's got sub volume, sub freak, and fader. Faders is for the fronts. But um, I'm thinking, well, wouldn't that be cool if I can go lower using the sub volume to control the really deep, deep lows and the sub frequency for the, for the variable crossover? I'm thinking, well, that would be cool. Why don't I just combine the outputs on the bottom here? See where it says sub out right here? and then output. So what I did is I combined both of these outputs but I ran into a problem. Let me show you what happens. So right here I got some Y splitters to combine I'm sorry with the camera here. So this is the sub out and this is the standard out which is controlled by the seven band graphic equalizer. And the sub is by those little knobs right there. So let me turn the volume up a little bit. Hopefully I don't get a copyright violation, but you plug in the sub, and, all, and what happens is that the subwoofer output right here takes over. So all the output comes out here. It doesn't combine them, and that's what I want to do. I want to combine so I have control of the subwoofer output a little bit more control of the low end bass and also have control with the seven band graphic equalizer but I can't do that because all I got here is bass so the only thing that's outputting is the bass now watch this, I unplug this and there we go so how do you fix that? <laughs> why does it switch to for the full output of this equalizer, this car stereo equalizer, when I combine this standard output here with the subwoofer output, it just automatically switches to sub. Can't figure this one out. I would like it to combine, whereas I can control seven band equalization plus have all this control for the low, low end. So what are your thoughts on this one? <laughs> Do they make such an animal? The other option, of course, would to be to get an equalizer that has more bandwidth, more tone controls. And I can't find anything that goes lower than 50 hertz. This, this box is tuned to like 30 hertz, but it'll go even lower. And I just want to have a little bit more control of the really, really deep, deep low ends. And I have this 31 band equalizer and I've got it set for a little bit of bump in 31, and it sounds absolutely phenomenal. When I bump it, I take the phone as a source for music, put it through this equalizer, and then put it into the box with no real equalization on here, and it just, the sound is just voluminous. It's just incredibly bassy. Low, low, deep bass. And that's the goal. <coughs> Excuse me, try to get about... A nice little bump on about 30 hertz ish uh, and be able to control it and it would be great if these were to combine I could control it right here but I just can't do it so what are your thoughts <laughs> little mad scientist project here I wish that equalizer could do that but when you combine the outputs it just goes straight to sub <laughs> all right thanks for watching and hopefully this uh, uncovering of this equalizer helps out the next guy too you just you can't do it with this with a Y splitter I don't know it's just the electronics in this thing it's just I don't know the voltage whatever hopefully I can figure this out and get some 
better control because the power is just enormous coming out of here. And I just love low bass. Alright, thanks for watching and appreciate your help. And we'll see you next time.